Today we are doing 11-1 areas of parallelograms and triangles. This is from the McGraw-Hill geometry textbook. Okay, so areas of parallelograms, any side of the parallelogram can be called a base. So even it can look like the bottom, it can look like the side, any of those can be called the base. The height of the parallelogram is the perpendicular distance between any two parallel lines. So really for the height, we're looking for the line that creates a right angle. So the main part of this lesson wants us to use the formula area equals base times height. Now for this section, it's also asking us to find the perimeter. Well, perimeter, we can just add all the sides or the gen general equation would be 2a plus 2b because opposite sides of a parallelogram are going to be equal to each other. So those are our two main equations for this section we're going to be doing. Um, the, these are not new equations to us, but sometimes the picture doesn't actually give us the height or it has missing information and we have to find it. So we're going to start off with question number one. Okay. Question number one, we have the height inside the parallelogram. So I know that my height is 16. Now the base is going to be these two pieces added together. So the base will be 8 plus 10 will be 18. So for area, area equals base times height. So area equals 18 times 16. When I multiply those, I get area equals 288 feet squared. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I box my answers. Now, for perimeter, I know what one of my bases is. My base is 18, so I know this one is 18 on top. The problem is I don't know from this picture what my other, what A is equal to, what the other side is equal to. But I can use Pythagorean theorem to find out what the other side is. So I'm going to focus on this triangle right here. Pythagorean theorem tells me a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But if I want my hypotenuse by itself, the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 16 squared. It says round to the tens place, so I'm actually going to already round it to the tens place. My hypotenuse is going to be 17.9 feet. And I'm going to write that right here. Because now when I find perimeter, it's 2a plus 2b. Don't get the a and b confused with the Pythagorean theorem. a is one side of the parallelogram. b is the other side of the parallelogram. We're talking about the outside of the parallelogram. So for perimeter, it's going to be 2 times 18 plus 2 times 17.9. And my perimeter is equal to 71.8 feet. Now we'll go on to question number two. Now question number two, I see that all the sides are equal to each other. And all they give me that an angle is 60. Well, I know that for a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal to each other. So this little angle right here is also equal to 60. And I know, because all sides are equal, that this side is equal to 24. Now I'm going to use my rules of special right to figure out what the height is of this parallelogram. And the height is across from my 60 degrees. So for me, I like to write down that I have a 30, 60, 90. And I'm focusing again on this triangle right here. And I want to know what the height is, which is across from my 60. My proportions that I have, my ratios for 30, 60, 90, x, x square root of 3, and 2x. So far, I know that across from my right angle is 24. So I know 2x is equal to 24. So 1x is equal to 12. And across from the 60 is 12 square roots of 3. 
And I'm going to actually leave that as a radical until my final answer. So the height of this shape is 12 square roots of 3. So in red, I'm going to go ahead and circle my base, and I'm going to circle my height. Okay. So area equals 24 times 12 square root of 3. When I plug it into my calculator and round to the nearest tenths place, area is going to be equal to 498.8 and it's inches squared. Now in this one perimeter is super easy. All sides are equal to each other. So I'm actually just gonna say four times 24. So my perimeter is equal to 96 inches. Okay, <laughs> question number three. I have a square. So a square is actually going to be our easiest one to do. Okay. Area is equal to base times height. I don't have any slants here. I don't have to use Pythagorean theorem. I have my base, and I have my height. Just 1.6 times 1.6, or 1 1.6 squared. <clears throat> my area is equal to 2.56 centimeters squared, and that is my answer already. My perimeter of this square, all sides are equal to each other, so I can add them all up, or just four times 1.6. My perimeter is equal to 6.4 centimeters. So question number four, we get into another parallelogram. They actually gave us a lot of information already in this picture. We already have the base and the height. So in red, I'm gonna go ahead and circle my base, circle my height. Area is equal to 20 times 8. Area is equal to 160 inches squared. Now for the perimeter, I can add all my sides. I know that opposite sides are equal to each other. Or just 2 times each side. So the perimeter is equal to 2 times 20 plus 2 times 10. Perimeter is equal to 60 inches. Question number five. We look at this picture. I see that 45 there. It gets me thinking that I'm probably going to have some kind of special right triangle again. Again, I'm going to focus on this left triangle. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it blue so I know what I'm looking at because that's going to help me find the height of this parallelogram. Now, if this bottom angle is 45, I know that this angle up here is also 45. Now, for a 45, 45, 90 triangle, my proportions are x, x, x square root of 2. And this time they gave me that across from my right angle is 15. So x square root of 2 is equal to 15. I need to get x by itself. So I'm actually going to work this out to figure out my height. Okay, I'm going to divide by the square root of 2 to get x alone. Now in math, it's not proper to leave a radical on the bottom. So in order to get rid of that radical on the bottom, I'm actually going to multiply it times itself. So I'm going to multiply it by square root of 2. And if I do it on the bottom, I do it on the top. Okay, On the bottom, the square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 15 over 2. And I'm left with the square root of 2. Now, I'm going to use decimals. I feel like they look a little bit neater. So this is actually going to be 7.5 square root of 2. So the legs of this triangle are 7.5 square root of 2, which is the height of my parallelogram. I'm going to circle my base, and I'm going to circle my height. Okay. Area is equal to base times height. Okay, 
when we type that in, we got area is equal to 318.2 feet squared. For perimeter, and I'll go ahead and do a different color, I have one of my sides is 30, the other side is 15. So perimeter is equal two times 30 plus two times 15. Perimeter is equal to 90 feet. And the last question on the front page that we're gonna do is number seven. We're gonna read this real quick. It says that a bathroom tile floor is made up of black and white parallelograms. Each parallelogram is made of two triangles, which dimensions as shown, find the perimeter and the area of one parallelogram. So here is the triangle they showed us and the parallelogram that it makes. I want the area and perimeter of the big parallelogram. Well, they've actually given us all the information we need already. We know that this is 15, this bottom is 11, the top is 11, this is seven, this is seven. And in that picture, it told us that the height of the parallelogram is 6.7, okay? So I'm, gonna, I'm going to circle the base and I'm gonna circle the height. Area equals base times height, okay, area equals 73.7 .7 centimeters squared, and for the perimeter, okay, I have 11 and 7, so it's going to be 2 times 11 plus 2 times 7, my perimeter equals 36 centimeters. Okay, now we'll go ahead and go on to the next. Now we'll be talking about areas of triangles. So there's two ways to find the area of a triangle. Area equals one half base times height or area equals base times height divided by two. I personally prefer base times height divided by two. So, and this one's perimeter and area again. Perimeter of a triangle, you just have to make sure you have all three sides and you add them together. There's not really a formula there, just, you know, add them all together. So for question number one, so question number one looks like they gave us a lot of information, but the problem is for that shaded triangle, I'm actually missing two sides. So what I have to start with is that outside triangle right here. It's not part of my triangle that I want, but I have to use this information to figure out the leg of my triangle, okay? So I'm looking for the leg of a, a, three, a triangle that has leg of three and hypotenuse of five. If you remember the rules of Pythagorean triples, three, four, and five actually make a perfect right triangle, okay? If you didn't remember that, we'd use Pythagorean theorem but to find a leg, we would say a is equal to the square root of 5 squared minus 3 squared. And I'm subtracting because I have the hypotenuse. And that's another way to find out that it was 4. But 3, 4, and 5, memorize those as Pythagorean triples because they'll be the ones that are used the most. Okay. Now I can find that long piece of my triangle by using Pythagorean theorem again. So now I'm going to focus on the gray triangle. And I'm looking for the hypotenuse, which is this piece right here. Okay, I want this piece. So my hypotenuse is equal to the square root, leg squared plus leg squared. When I type that in my calculator, I find out that my hypotenuse of the, the big triangle is 15.5. So this is 15.5. I'll go ahead and start with area. Area equals base times height divided by 2. So area equals 15 times 4 divided by 2. Area equals 30 centimeters squared. 
for perimeter. I still need this side, this side, and that top one now. So for perimeter, I'm just gonna add up all three pieces. 15 plus four plus 15.5. Perimeter is equal to 34.5 centimeters. We're gonna go on to question number two. Question number two actually gave us more on here. We know the base, we know the height. Okay, so the base of this triangle is 22, the height is 16. I actually can already find my area because area equals base times height divided by two. So area is equal to 176 feet squared. Now when I get to perimeter, I have missing information. I'm gonna have to do Pythagorean theorem again, and I'm gonna look at the triangle on the outside. And I have to find the hypotenuse of the triangle on the outside to find my missing leg of that triangle. So to find hypotenuse, C is equal to the square root, leg squared plus leg squared. When I type that in my calculator, I find out that the hypotenuse is 17.9. I do my work on the side, but I come back to this triangle and I write it where it goes. So I make sure that I have all my information. Now for the perimeter, I add up my three legs. So perimeter equals 22 plus 34 plus 17.9. Perimeter is equal to 73.9 feet. And I'm going to go ahead and box my answers. And we'll go ahead and do one more question just to make sure you, you see some variety in the problems. Okay. Now, when I look at this question, I have my base, I have my height, but I don't have my hypotenuse of the triangle I'm looking for. And it's kind of interesting because there's actually, this is the first question, it has unnecessary information. Yeah, the I do not need this at all. It's not needed. I have what I need to do Pythagorean theorem and find the hypotenuse there. And that'll help me find the perimeter. And I already can find area. Okay. So I'm looking for hypotenuse. So C equals the square root leg squared plus leg squared. If I round to the tens place, my hypotenuse is 41.5. I'm gonna write 41.5 here. Now for area, base and height. So area equals 40 times 11 divided by two. So area equals 220 inches squared. And for perimeter, I add up the three legs of my gray triangle. And when I add those up, perimeter equals 11 plus 40 plus 41.5. Perimeter is equal to 92.5 inches. Now, I think you guys have seen enough parallelograms and triangles to have an idea of what we're doing here. Um, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as I post more, you'll learn more geometry. Great.